So the NHS is a wonderful organisation um, and uh, I was pleased to sort of be exposed to it and work there for a couple of years while I was doing my research. Um, patients with AML are treated all through the NHS, they're not just treated at large academic centres, so many patients are treated in what are referred to as district general hospitals or DGHs, which are small hospitals staffed by general haematologists, um, but they're close to patients' homes and, and many of those are very comfortable treating AML. Historically, the vast majority of AML patients in the UK were enrolled in these studies, in, in the in the UK and CRI studies uh, and were treated within the study framework. I think for the international audience the main thing to note about the way that the UK treats AML is that all patients receive a double induction. So they receive a seven and three style um, induction called DA which uses 10 days of cytarabine uh, and if they're in remission they get another cycle of DA but with eight days of cytarabine. And as well as that most patients with non-adverse risk AML will receive gemtuzumab as part of that. Um, and then after the two inductions patients generally receive two consolidations if they're not having a transplant.